Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will try to see another uh, configuration that is nothing but with request made via parent. So if you try to observe in our angular.dev, okay, so I will try to show you angular.dev. In our, we are learning about the HTTP client concept. So let's go to the HTTP client concept. And here we are setting up the HTTP client. So these are all the concepts we are learning. So we have learned about the with fetch also. We have learned about this with fetch options and with interceptors and also with interceptors from DA also we have learned it. So functional interceptors are, have more predictable ordering and we recommend them over DA based interceptors. So that means DA based interceptors means the interceptors which we have written in the class module. So this one is functional interceptors. We have learned these two things. And now the another configuration which we need to learn is the with request made via parent. So what does this with request made via parent? So this is already, it's actually in the developer preview if you try to observe carefully. So what is the meaning of this one or what is the concept of this one? Let's try to explain you. So this one will work in the ng module or in the lazy loaded components, it will work. So I will try to explain you what does this mean. So now here, <coughs> if you try to see in our app.config.ts file, so we are having this interceptors from DA, right? Let's try to convert this one to the functional interceptors. Already we have written this one. So I will change it to the functional interceptor. So you, if you want, you can also use this one, but I am converting it in functional interceptor. So I am removing this entire thing and I am removing this one also. So this one is our functional interceptor. And now in order to use this functional interceptor, so this, this there will be a minimal thing that is nothing but with interceptors. So I can use it. And here you need to provide custom header interceptor. That's it. So now if you try to see here, if I click on this fetch data, so whenever I click on this fetch data, now the custom interceptor will work without any problem. So let's try to see it again. Oh, uh, let's try to have a uh, console.log here so that we can able to see console.log custom header interceptor. Okay, so this is the custom header interceptor. So now whenever I click on this fetch data, so you will be able to see the custom header interceptor will be executing. Why? Because so this one is in the parent module. This one is the parent injector. So it was an application wide config, the interceptor is present. So that's why, so whatever the components it is executing every time. So for this one, custom header interceptor will execute. So fine. So this one is well, well looking fine. So now what I want to tell you is, so if you are having a lazy loaded uh, child module, so let's say that I will be creating ngGC users slash users. So I am creating a users thing. So let's try to create a component users. And in this one, so what I will do it is, app.routes.ts file. So in the routes.ts file, so I will try to create a route. That is nothing but uh, you will be having a path slash users and we need to load the component. So lazy load the component, load component. And this one will be something like import of here. I will be having slash users slash users slash users.component. Okay. So now when you are trying to execute users.component dot then and here you will be having uh, users and it will execute users dot users component. That's it. So now let's go to this users component and here I will open this app.component.ts file and here I will copy this HTTP code and I will try to place this HTTP code here only. Sorry, on ng on init. ng on init and here I will place the center code. Fine. So now we need to inject the HTTP. So private HTTP is equal to inject of HTTP, HTTP client. Okay. So now we have injected and this one is nothing but data of type any. That's it. So now this is our users component. So whenever the user tries to type the slash users, so we need to be able to get this data. So now we are not able to get it. Why? Because in our app.component.html file, let's go to the app.component.html file. Sorry, app.component.html file. So here I will be using app, sorry, router outlet. So that whenever you try to use the slash users, router outlet. Okay. So whenever you are trying to use the slash users automatically, so custom header interceptor is getting loaded. Okay. So now this is fine. So whenever you want to have a particular routers, so particular interceptors to be executed. So particular interceptors only, it should be executed for this one means. So what you will try to do in our app.component.ts file or otherwise in our app.root.ts file. So here I will be using providers. So I want to load only the, for this component or the user's component or for this path only, 
I want to execute a particular uh, interceptors. Then uh, let's say the logging interceptor. So here I will be creating a new file logging dot interceptor dot ts file. So here I can use export constant log interceptor is equal to. So this is of type HTTP interceptor function. Okay, I will get the request and the next. So here I will use console dot log logging interceptor for user path. Okay, so this is the component, and I will try to return the next of request. So that's it. So this is our logging interceptor. So this one needs to be executed only for the user path only. So that means what we need to do. So here we need to inject provide HTTP client of with interceptors so you need to use with interceptors and you need to provide logging interceptor okay so this is the interceptor which we need to provide it now if you try to refresh this page so here you'll be able to see the login interceptor for the user's path so the only one it is able to execute it so but if you observe carefully so when i am trying to use this slash users so that means we are in the lazy load component only the login interceptors is executed so that means why because for this component we are telling that to uh, to execute only the logging interceptor but if you try to observe carefully in the config.ts file, we already have an interceptor that is nothing but custom interceptor in the parent. So that means in order to execute this one, so what we need to do? So now there is no, no provision for us to this, this custom header interceptor is not executing in the slash users. For example, let's go to the home page. And if I try to click on this page data, now custom header interceptor is able to execute, but logging interceptor is not executing. So this is fine, well and fine. So this is the expected behavior only. But when I try to go to the slash users, now I have overrided the interceptors in a such a way that so now only the logging interceptors which we have mentioned in the app.roots only is getting executed. So this should not be the behavior. So now what I want to do it is my child interceptors also needs to be executed in a, uh, and my common parent interceptors also needs to be executed. So then what I need to do. So in this scenario, so we will be able to use this with the request made by via parent. So that means so the request whatever you are trying to do this interceptors so the request is made via parent so that means what i need to do it is so here i need to provide in this http client only okay with interceptors and here i can use the comma with request made via parent so you need to provide this one so when you provide this with request made via parent now automatically when you try to execute see this logging interceptor also got executed and this custom header interceptor also got executed so you need to understand carefully that First, the child interceptors will be executed first, then only after that only then the parent parent interceptors will be executed. So the same scenario comes with the DA also with interceptors from DA you need to use and you need to use the provide HTTP interceptors, multi true and use class like that we need to provide it. So this one is a functional interceptor. So now like this, so this is the usage of this with request made by a parent. Whenever you use this with request made by a parent in the child means in the child component or in the child feature modules or anywhere means we need to provide it like this so that in our in our parent module or in the app module or in our parent app.config.ts file if you mention any parents those parents will be executed afterwards but the way make sure that only after the child interceptor executed then only the parent interceptors afterwards it will be executed so you will be able to see the console.logs also first the child interceptor is executed and then afterwards only custom interceptor is executed so this is how we will be using this with request made via parent Hope you understood about this concept. So if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.